destroy all humans. What's going on, guys? And welcome to Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed. Uh, we have got an early access key, which we'll be releasing this on Friday. Uh, but the game doesn't come out until the 30th of August. So we're going to jump straight into this. We're going to start a brand new save. And we're going to choose... I guess we can just do Mercenary. Um, yeah, and we'll just jump straight into it. Seeing what the game has to offer. Humans of planet Earth, be advised. While the visual experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the uh, Furons remain a near-identical clone. The Furon linguistic and cultural experience remain unaltered. The story were... Hello? I, w I was reading that. Well, go back and watch it if you need to read that last sentence. <laughs> Premier Comrade Mielakov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. And their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, now deceased. So, what has been problem? <laughs> The problem, Conrad, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they use these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. And the American people are not noticing? <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be destroyed. Oh, this is taking me so back. Like, I can't remember much of the first As one. We speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon mothership. Savages. Generals. There's only one way to be spanked. Revolution. That would have been the worst explosion that can't be good. I've ever seen. Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regard. Oh, God. You expect me to beg, human? <laughs> no, little Furon. I expect you to die. No. Mine's big. Oh, this looks so weird. <laughs> oh, I just launched a guy with an afro. Wait, are you friendly? Oh, you're friendly. Okay, so left mouse is to do the zappy things. There's asteroids falling around. And we've got to kill the KGB agents. I, just thought... I can't wait to unlock more abilities. So we can jump. Do we have like a, a double jump? Come in, Crypto. Are you receiving? Huh? The mothership has been destroyed. We have like a dash. You must come to my aid immediately. Follow the distress beacon to my location. I'm already here. Crypto, these KGB agents are trying to fricassee my motherboard. Hurry up. Yeah. Hello? Friend? Uh, Psychonesis? Psychonesis? Uh, pick up a marked enemy. We, yeah, we've already been doing that. Um, charge the max for stronger throws. Fling them into something or launch them towards the horizon. Or cancel the charge at any time. If we move F. Okay, noted. 
Oh. Hello? <coughs> Where's the guy from the ship? What the? Incoming. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to play this game for. Maybe just a couple of episodes. Or a couple of parts, sorry. Or just this one. Who knows? We'll see. Just let me know in the comments or like the button if you want to see more. And we can cause chaos. Crypto! The mothership has somehow been destroyed! And I've been blown to smithereens! Luckily, I was able to download a copy of my exquisite mind into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kind of constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be... I can't remember who did the actor for this. I need to bring in some big guns. I uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so where are the data cores? The data cores. That's just it. They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. Uh, quiz pox on data cores. Data cores. Why am I saying it like What's an American? A data core. You never studied. A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer okay. is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. Ah, okay. Grab these. <coughs> I like how they've left this very much arcadey, like the first one. I didn't um, bring any with me. It's kind of what it was known for. Uh, Craziness. Heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. I knew it. I knew your unnatural interest in humans mm -hmm. would bring us nothing but trouble. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're harsh in my buzz. <coughs> Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. For those that don't know, I've never heard of what this game is. The very first one, it was insane. There's a lot of puns. There's a lot of weird references. Uh, so expect a good laugh uh, and some sweaty eyes, as, uh, as we know. Um, but we're going to go and find a data core. You're going to see a lot of weird things happening, and you just got to roll with it. If you don't roll with it... Uh, weird stuff like that can happen, you know? So, we've got a big-ass hippie house here. Are they called... What do you call it? Oh, there's a cool disc. Hello? New jukebox song. I don't have any for oh uh, any form of um Hello? Oh. I've like ranged weapon yet? Wait, what's E do? Wait, I've just seen it in the bottom right now. E. Uh, I can't can I walk on this? I can. Can I brainwash him? Ah. Oh. I popped his head off. <laughs> That's what it did. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. oh I didn't want to. God damn it, you spoon bits. Wait, I'm surfing. Everybody's going surfing. Surfing you US. <laughs> Can I jump over this? Let me... Whoa. I like how it, it feels like I'm on a skateboard. Like I'm actually gliding. It's kind of cool. Alert. Snatch the data core. Dip. Bitch, you're falling again. Focus. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. 
Now we can grab it. Bloody hell. Ooh. We now get a jetpack. Ew, yeah. Wait, how does it work? Oh, the space bar. Is there a fuel? Hello? Did that house just get destroyed? I don't know where I'm meant to be going. Oh, back to back to uh, this guy. Who's shooting at me? Obviously a KGB agent, but... Nice. Ooh. New gun. Uh, disc uh, Disolator. Uh, charge up for deadlier bounces. Interesting. If you hold and then release it. Okay. And then bigger objects like cars only bounce if fully charged. Oh! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. What's up? <laughs> it's just such chaos. It's just getting smashed around to be a Vera plot pot. <laughs> oh, I miss this game. Hi. Well, that wasn't a complete disaster. <laughs> now get back here. We have much to discuss. And by discuss, I mean I have your new orders. Where? I don't know what the campaign's going to be like, but in the first one, you still have to. It's like an open world. You go to one place, look, uh, other places, uh, do missions, do side missions, get collectibles, all that kind of stuff. Um, wait, use PK to kill KGB agents? PK, 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 PK. I don't know what that is. But good, though. Like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to play this for. If you want to see more episodes, remember to like, I subscribe, and it. let me know in the comments. It blew so. that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them. Nonetheless... Inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much revelate as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, ah, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. <laughs> and so he will. <coughs> but not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pleh! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like typical comedy bad guy you know that's what you need to expect mass destruction or mass delusion lol well hi we're uh, we're all having the flower children Jeez, where have all the flower children gone my head's still spinning what the hell's going on around here why are those ruskies gunning for us Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Uh, has Cowell to find the KGB? Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slice and dice? You do not. The 
KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. <laughs> going they down? They call him the Freak. Is it the, is he's the voice actor? Is it the guy that does Trevor in GTA? The Question mark. Freak, huh? Yeah, I, I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right. Let's All accept right, the mission. Enough chit chat. I'm off to find our little hippie friend, the freak. Let's go and find. Let's go and find the freak. Hi. <laughs> huh? Uh, free love forces targets to dance. Okay. Start a party. Target enough humans with free love to force everyone to dance. At higher, uh, higher alert levels, it takes more dances to start a party. I think I might need to turn audio up, maybe. Because, <gasps> wait, legal stream music only. Yes, save changes. Oh, I didn't even check that in the first, the first time. Free love. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Body snatch up? I'm just... <laughs> I just keep making him dance. Oh! I've got to... I have to... I've got to use the F key. And God damn it! How do I disguise required? Oh! Oh! Call all clear. Police dispatch, go ahead. Target eliminated. Call them all. Yes, sir. All units stand down. Good evening. Read the mind of a marked creature to narrow down the position of your target. Okay. Oh, who would want to live in the park with an indigent hippie man known as the Freak? Me, that's who. Me. Good evening. Wait, does this have a... Oh, it does. There's a, there's a bar at the top. I wonder where the freak went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. I'm coming. I'm coming, Mr. Freak. Look how he runs. Just like waddle, waddle. Let your body waddle. I am king of the lizards. I am king of the lizard. 
Only hippies can vibe with the freak. Um. Hey, baby. How you doing? Hey there, uh, moon doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. <coughs> coming down on me. Imagine that coming up to you sounding like that. Week. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. <laughs> Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our bugs? <laughs> From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his <sighs> real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Oh, boy. Pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chick. The size of the spliff inside of his ear. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bong Water? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. <laughs> What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bongwater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just <laughs> said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go and fi find uh, Coyote Bong Water. Um, obviously, we're going to try and stay hidden. So, try and sneak our way through. Are you taking a piss? This guy's taking... God, he's got nothing there. I feel sorry for the poor lad. Good evening. What year are we in? The 70s still? 60s, 70s? Laundry room. Can I get a can I get a ride? Hello? Can I get a ride? Oh my god. Hello? That's a nice ride. What the Okay, this car is just Excuse me? Use Cortex Scan to locate hideout. How do I use Cortex Scan? Cortex Scan? Do I have to scan people? Ah! What did it mean my Cortex Scan? What is that? Use Cortex Scan. Where? All right, I found it. God damn it. I had to go into the controls to find out what was going on. Wait, he said what? But I accidentally popped a few heads. Um. Yeah. So I, I don't know what to say about that. God, I didn't save myself from marriage. Oh. Yeah, but we are the places where the KGB is. Um. Ah! Now, go 
Don't be shy. Hello. Don't be shy. Mr. KGB agent. And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run ten hours. So eat a good breakfast. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! <laughs> uh, damn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us. We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm going to have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. Is that Owen Wilson? It's the Tash dude. <laughs> what a crunk. <clears throat> Idiot. Remeter Breach, get bomb water out of here. Hurry! Hurry! Uh, oh, my jetpack. is being in danger. Get him out of here now. Sorry. Sorry. I tried making him dance. Come, come, come. Bye. Wait, is he actually going to come down? He's coming down. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, I did it. Where have all the flower children gone? Easy peasy. Kill KJB agents with their own grenades. Wait, did they even throw grenades? Bread for bread. Hey. Oh, yeah. It's me. They shoot hippies, don't they? How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will you? You're making me nervous. Here's the thing. I found Bongwater, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were going to get the <clears throat> island. You didn't ask. Smart, Smart hippie. hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. <laughs> revelade! Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he going to do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man. It's what's on the inside. Yes. He's going to gas the whole city with revelade. Wow. That's so I Keep thinking he's saying lemonade. Well, I'll tell you this. Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? The fuck is Jade? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Revelade. Didn't you hear me? <laughs> Easy, 
man move. Oh, God. What am I doing talking to this It's creep? so cheesy, but you got to love it. Because they don't make games like this anymore, so. You're just going to enjoy it whilst it, whilst it lasts. So where have we got to go? To the blimps, right? To go and uh, drink some lemonade. Oh, it's you. Hi. Hawks, we got a situation here. Bongwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies. That's so moronic, it just might work. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. Ah, oh, crap. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. Ooh. And then I kick a little monkey ass. Then I can fly around. Reach the landing zone. Oh, um... Hi. Sorry. I keep forgetting that you teleport over to them. I keep forgetting that you teleport over to them and you don't, like, clone them on the spot. Oh, another disc. Dude, can we play something in the jukeboxes? So long ago, man. Hey. Yeah, are these movable as well? I want to walk into them. Oh, they are. Oh, it's over here. Maybe we can just... Hey. With bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Archangel. Zone activated. Uh, give me my ship. Oh, baby. No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. It appears the saucer took a hit. Or 12. On the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Of course. Ah, man. Of bloody course. Luckily, I've detected more data calls from the mothership nearby. Containing repair parts you can use to get the saucer. Once you're in the air, you can blow up blimps to your heart. Hell yeah. Gotcha. I'll snatch up those repair pods and swing back to the saucer. Oh yeah. It's payback. Did I get that? Collect rip oh, I've got to collect some as well. Woo! Oh, there's military there. Hey, does that belong to you? Yep. I didn't think so. Hey, do you oh, mean? Of course it belongs to me. <laughs> Are they shooting each other? That's not 
not your property. <laughs> this is way too much fun. Is that yours? Then put it back. Yep, it is mine. I've told you already multiple times it is mine. Bam, 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 bam. Where's the other one? Is it on the roof? Oh no, we got them all. I'm in a weird mood today. All right. Here we go. Enter cockpit. Poxmite. Gene blender. What? Just in time, Crypto. Bombwater has launched his blips at the city. You must stop them from polluting the air with Revelade. Saucer isn't preservable when activated. Clock deactivates when depleted. Let recharge. Ah. How do I go up and down then? Aim down, hold control and press R. Here we go, Crypto. The blimps have entered the city. Oh, it's on! I'll be monitoring the level of Revelade in the atmosphere. But you'd better destroy those blimps quickly, Crypto. Because if the Revelade level reaches 100% saturation, our base brain bomb will be turned into a useless den of unmotivated degenerates sitting in front of their TV screens twiddling their thumbs. <laughs> Look alive. More. <laughs> 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 Destroy buildings. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, my God. So it does have a depletion. Can I? Because like that building. Whoa. They're bringing in tanks. <gasps> they do fall. Bloody military base. Kill them all! Atmospheric saturation. Uh. Destroy those gas balls, crypto! Another squadron of blimps is closing on your position. Oh, I can't watch. Think of 
I like how they're here. I'm destroying the whole city. And we're meant to be... Destroying these goddamn things. I know, it's because I was blowing things up, having way too much fun. Is that going to change the story? Oh no! Here we go, Crypto. The blimps have entered the city. Oh, it's on! I'll be monitoring the level of Revelade in the atmosphere. But you'd better destroy the blimps quickly, Crypto. Because if the Revelade level reaches 100% saturation, our Bay City brain farm will be turned into a useless den of unmotivated degenerates sitting in front of their TV screens, twiddling their thumbs. <clears throat> Look alive, Here comes another wave of those infernal. Don't worry. I got it. So this guy doesn't spread his juices. Whoa, I damaged me. Where's the other ones? Take out the supplier. Collect me purple pods as a soldier destroyer. <laughs> I guess I don't even read these. I right, check them. Oh. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that there. We had a little bit of fun. If you do want to see more of this, um obviously leave a like like i said before um subscribe if you're new here and also leave a comment if you want to what you thought about it mm, yeah keep smiling see you in another video